Listen up. This just in. All the gossip. Gossip. The rumor report. Gossip. Gossip. With Angela. Angela Yee. It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. All right. Well, you can't always just read the headlines, right? Now, Kanye West is supposed to be headlining Coachella alongside Billie Eilish. And he posted a headline, Billie Eilish dissed Travis Scott at her concert after she stopped the show to give her fan an inhaler. He posted, come on, Billie, we love you. Please apologize to Trav and to the families of the people who lost their lives. No one intended this to happen. Trav didn't have any idea what was happening when he was on stage and was very hurt by what happened. And yes, Trav will be with me at Coachella, but now I need Billie to apologize before I perform. <laughs> but let's flash back to what Billy actually said while she was on stage. Relax, relax, it's okay. It's okay, nothing's okay. We're good, it's okay. We're taking care of our people. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like calling all the <laughs> I wait for people to be okay until I keep going. Oh. It was a shot at Travis. Now, Billy. Billie Eilish responded, literally never said a thing about Travis was just helping a fan. I mean, listen, Kanye got nerve to demand an apology from anyone for something they have said. <laughs> Imagine someone demand, demanding Kanye West apologize for something he said. Come on. Now, he also posted someone's comment. Somebody said, man's off the meds. Album gonna go crazy. Kanye posted that and responded, the world is racist, sexist, homophobic, and crazy phobic at our core. It's cheap and dismissive to say I'm off my meds anytime I speak up. Phobia in this sense doesn't mean being afraid of it. it means not giving power to let's be more conscious and not write each other off so easily. I'm watching that Genius so. documentary this weekend, though. I got a link mm -hmm. to it. I can't wait to watch that. I heard it's really good. Our all right, and congratulations to Eve. She has welcomed her first child with her husband, Maximilian Cooper. So congratulations to two of them. She posted, our beautiful boy was born February 1st, 2022. Wild Wolf Fife Alexander Summers Cooper. Words can't describe this feeling. Traveling to Bounce for Eve and Maximilian. Congratulations. Glad you had a healthy delivery. That's the most important thing. And Anderson Cooper has announced the birth of his second son. He said his newborn son name is Sebastian Luke Maisani Cooper. He was 6.8 pounds at birth, and he is healthy and happy. Even his occasional hiccups are, to me, adorable. So okay. that's his second uh, child. His first son, Wyatt, was born in April of 2020. And he's co-parenting Wyatt and Sebastian with his best friend and former partner, Benjamin Maisani. We're dropping the clues bombs for Anderson Cooper and Benjamin. Congratulations. They had a healthy delivery. All That's right. the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And Dave Chappelle, people were saying that he uh, killed this affordable housing plan that was going to be in Yellow Springs. He actually went to one of the meetings in the town, which he always goes to, and he argued against the, quote, affordable housing options. That video went viral. Here it is. Hi, I'm Dave Chappelle. <laughs> I just want to say, I don't know why the village council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they ex out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all, thank you. Now, a rep of his, uh, Carla Sims, actually responded and said Dave Chappelle didn't kill affordable housing concerned residents and a responding village council killed a half-baked plan which never actually offered affordable housing. And they said that he's not opposed to affordable housing options, but the proposal in question was a sprawl style development plan of which Dave Chappelle was not a fan. Uh, they also said, according to reports, it was supposed to be affordable housing, but it was $300,000, which is not even affordable in Yellow Springs. So that's not even affordable housing units. Yeah, we really live in a headline culture world because if you, you know, just read about that situation, then you would see that, you know, uh, the, the affordable housing was, they said, was a future possibility, not a given. And it was like 1.75 acres of land to be donated and later developed into affordable housing. But it was like, he's not even, what he's pushing back against, that's not even a part of the project. Like the, the affordable housing project they talking about would have been separate from this development that he's even pushing back against. So I don't even understand where that headline came from. Right, so, but I guess people just, you know, wanted that to go viral. All right, now, Sounded Wendy Williams. Sounded to me Williams. like it was a bunch of white people mad that a black man was flexing his power like that. That's what it sounded like to me. All right, now, Wendy Williams, according to the bank, uh, Wells Fargo, was saying they're saying that she needs a guardianship and that she's an incapacitated person. They sent a letter to New York Supreme Court Judge Arlene Booth requesting a hearing to determine whether or not Wendy Williams needs a professional to intervene in her affairs. 
According to that attorney, they said, we are concerned about William's situation. It is our hope that the guardianship part of the court will imminently appoint a temporary guardian or evaluate it to review the situation and ensure that William's affairs are being properly handled. So not sure what information they have that they would believe she's not able to handle her own finances. But as you know, she's been trying to access her own accounts. Yeah, it's a tough one because you want to make sure that, you know, she is okay and that she could get her money. But then they said that she might foreclose on her property. She can't pay her staff because she can't she can't get into those accounts. So, I mean, I, I hope they handle that, that fast. But if she's okay and everything is fine and she's trying to get her money, she should be able to get her money. We also don't know. Exactly. But we also don't know the full situation. You Correct. know what I mean? It sounds to me like we're only getting a very, 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 very small part of the story. And that's why the story doesn't make any sense. But we're sending healing energy to Wendy Williams. That's what I'm doing. Well, Wendy mm-hmm. Williams denies that she is the victim of undue influence and financial exploitation, and they have requested a temporary restraining order against Wells Fargo to restrain the bank from freezing her accounts and interfering with her right to access her financial assets and statements. All right. All right. Now, I saw this story circulating yesterday, and there was a story saying that this person claims they work at worked at iHeart, but due to the vaccine mandated iHeart Media not being extended last Thursday, many employees were terminated, including myself. That person claims they took snapshots from a privileged meeting and that the Breakfast Club will no longer exist and that they have a tentative list to change uh, the morning show based in New York when their contract expires next spring. And they also claim to have had the salary information that they're planning to pay for the replacements. And I saw one blog posted this, but clearly that is a fake story. So you sure? I'm I don't know if that's a vacation on February. I think it's true. I'm going to be yeah, honest I was with going, you. I think well, it's you guys vacation. Have, I don't think you it's guys fake. have both signed your contracts and they don't expire in the spring, do I don't spring, think it's do fake. They? I don't know how you can just, no, I don't, I don't know how you can just discredit it and February say it's 18th. fake. I don't yeah. think it's fake. I don't think it's fake at all. I don't I even know. I don't think it's yeah. fake. Mm-hmm. I believed it when I saw it. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Speak. I don't know who even bothers to do things like this, but okay. Uh, but shout out to my girl, Roxy. You know, I see she was on the list um, that they said they were offering her money. A girl, Roxy, it's a morning Ro- show. Roxy you from Philly? Yeah, Roxy Romeo. Yeah, Roxy from Philly. And also... Remy. And somebody else is on there too, right? Remy Remy Ma. Mother Knows. Oh, yeah, this is definitely true. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe it. And I'm sure Remy would ask for more money as well. Yeah, Remy would ask for (laughs) more money. I I 100% believe this story. All right. Fact! Uh, What is it? You said fact or fact? Facts. Mm. Okay. Well... Y'all have no proof that this is not real. I have no proof this story is not real. I know people... Everybody likes to believe everything that they read. So imagine that. I was going that. on vacation February 18th. Damn it, man. All right. But it's funny. People oh, keep on hitting us like, oh, my God, you guys are leaving. <laughs> you're going on vacation February 18th. February 18th. You are going, going on vacation. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Well, that is what. And, and February 21st is a holiday, right? President's Day. Yeah, it's I'm President's definitely going Day. on vacation. All right. Well, that is your front, uh, your rumor report. Now we got front page news next. What are we talking about? Yes, and let's talk about a black man who was a FedEx uh, delivery person, and he got chased by two white men who didn't believe he deserved, he needed to be in that neighborhood. All right, we'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 